one. I love it. Oh, that's so good. That's my favorite one. You are amazing. Well, we did such a great job today. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool. I can't believe it's our last shoot. Yeah, well, believe it. But I'll be back. No one comes back. Just, just be happy. That's, that's what I want you to do for me. Didn't interrupt, did I? No. I'm, I'm done. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Good. Hey, I just left the market. This is mom on the phone, jabbering away. Her kids tugging on her coattail. Hey, mommy, mom, mom, mama. She couldn't care less. The kid falls out. Falling his eyes out on the ground. She's 20 paces up before I stop her and say, hey, you know your kid's on the floor back there. I mean, how don't you see that you're... You there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I'm just... just trying to wrap my hands around everything. Sky, I told you I could have come up. Helped you with everything. We, we could have come down together. Daniel, I... I got this, all right? I, I... I can handle this. Yeah, whenever you call me Daniel, something's wrong. What is it? Nothing. It's... It's just that I'm trying to... I'm trying to get everything. That's all. I should have come up, driven you back down. It's okay, all right? It's okay. Besides, I... I like the drive. I know, you do. I know. Are we really interested in the same thing? Do we feel at ease together? Are we proud of each other? Are we agreed on basic things? I wonder. Hey. Hey. It's almost here, right? Yeah. You excited? Yeah, of course. You should have said something. We could have had a farewell celebration. No, it's nice, but, um, better this way, you know, quiet. I'm gonna really miss hearing your music through the walls. I mean, you play the best music. I live life out loud, what can I say? Thanks for being cool about it. You know, Devin down the hall is probably curled up like a baby crying about you leaving. No, he's, he's nice. 
He's so annoying. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. Hello. You're not wearing headphones. No, I'm not. Most people. Most people wear them. I guess so they don't have to talk to anyone. But you're not wearing any. Nope. Was I talking loud? A little. Sorry. You have a friend who wears them, headphones? He doesn't even listen to anything. He just doesn't want people to strike up a conversation with him. I don't have the heart to tell him he overestimates how interesting he is. Can I help you? Yes, uh, medium chai latte, please. Soy? Regular is fine. That's it? That's it. 4.59. Okay. I think I left my wallet. Can you put our orders together? Sure. No, it's it's okay. It's not a problem. It's, it's really it's okay. It's just harmless coffee. It's tea. It's it's tea. Harmless tea. <clears throat> Where's the fire? <laughs> well, I'm glad there isn't a fire because as long as this is taken, I'd be dead by now. Um, it, it it's nice, but um, no, thank you. Okay, I am um, I am really sorry. It's okay. Girl, be pressing. She ain't got no damn money. Excuse <laughs> me. Oh, hold on, hold on one second. Oh, you walk fast. Long legs. What? Uh, what's what's your name? Sky. Like the. Yeah. Back there in the shop, I was trying so hard, and you almost did it. What's that? almost smiled. It was coming. I could feel it. Is that what was happening? I didn't mean to get into your personal space. No harm done. Can we try coffee again? It's tea. You're persistent. Not when you see something you like. How do you know I don't have somewhere to be? Didn't think about that. I was actually just 
walking. Of where? I don't know yet. You want some company? Wasn't planning on it. Listen, um... This day has been a little... You're the best thing that's happened to me all day. It must really be bad if a girl that's trying not to talk to you is the best thing that happened to her. Well, now you see. Honestly, I, I, I could really use the fresh air. You look like a guy that has to go back to work or something. Yeah, well, no. Um, me, we had a couple meetings done for the day. Let's walk for a little while. Then you go your way. Just a little. Five blocks. Two. Four. Three. Three and a half. Three. Three works. Two rules. Okay. You can't ask me for my number. It already feels as if I'm being picked up and I'd like to maintain some dignity for the next two blocks. Three blocks. I need to hear you say it. I won't ask you for your number. Crazy. You can't be weird. That I can do. I have a little sister. Well, she's not so little anymore. Yeah? She dances ballet. Oh, that's nice. Hey, you ever heard of Misty Copeland? Yeah, why, she dances with her? No, just wanted to know if you ever heard of her. <laughs> so, is that like with an H, or no? No one's ever asked me that before. No H, just J-O-N. It's Jonathan, actually, but... Jonathan's a child's name. My father's name is Jonathan. Open mouth, insert foot. <laughs> just kidding. His name is Elijah, but it's just dad to me. I had a really interesting childhood. I mean, I grew up here for the most part, but, but he was mostly gone, and she was estranged from her family. But all they had was each other and this little house in Barbados. <laughs> We used to go there every Thanksgiving and just pass out food to the people. Like a soup kitchen type thing? No, no, not like that. Like, my mom and I would just stay up really late making turkeys and... <laughs> she would let me rip it apart. God, I was so little. Block four, huh? Already? You know, you're pretty slick. I mean, you managed to squeeze another block out of me. Hadn't noticed. <laughs> so, you sure about the number thing? Yeah, pretty much. Coffee? Maybe another time. Okay. It's been fun. Yeah. Maybe in another life. Maybe. What's wrong? What? What's wrong with your day? I mean, you said you're having a pretty bad day. You said I was the best thing that happened to you, which was pretty good, by the way. You still are. Your day. No, well. Um, you know, sometimes you have to close a chapter and open another. Yeah. I like the old chapter. Not comfortable in the new skin just yet. Maybe just a little more?
are you? Good. You? Good. I need a purse or uh, a bag. It's a good thing for you we sell them. Any idea what you're looking for? No. For someone special? Yeah. Is she into bags? Well, I mean, you know, she has some. Okay. Let's take a walk. So let's take it from the top. Why a bag? I don't know. Uh, feels like what I'm supposed to do. Is that how you make all of your decisions? No. Good for you. I think I need something expensive enough to show effort, but not too expensive. She'll think it's materialistic and that I don't get her. She's tricky that way. She conservative? No. Flashy? No. That narrows it down. <laughs> Sorry. You bought her things before? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, what do you usually get her? I just, uh, I listen. I wait to hear a hint, and then I buy her that. You don't know what she wants? Not all the time. Do you think she wants something here? I don't know. Look, I could sell you a bag. I could sell you a bag that she'd like, maybe even love. But these things can get really pricey. And it looks like money's a problem. Actually, it looks like it isn't. But that's not the point. Then what is? That you should know. These bags are meant to last for a really long time. That's why they cost what they do. There are only three kinds of people that come in here the way that you did today. Those looking to buy their way out of something. Those looking to buy their way into something. And those that think that by putting in this much effort, it changes something, mends something. Not so. Some things you just know if you know. Do you want to see a movie? No, it would steal too much time. Good point. What do you want to do? This. Okay. Why? What's wrong with this? Nothing, it's nice. But why? You always ask this many questions? When I'm nervous. You nervous? No. But the best defense is a good offense. I have no idea what you're talking about. Basketball. As long as I ask you questions, you can't ask me any. Well, why wouldn't you want me to ask you questions? Maybe I don't want to talk about some things. Like what? Are these real questions you're asking me, or are you testing my theory? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? <sighs> nice try. Better question is, what are you running from? Running? I'm not, I'm not running. Feels like we're running. We? Stall. Delaying. Delaying, rather. What? I'm leaving. Where? Here. DC? Yeah. When? In the morning. For good? That's the plan. Yours? By default. You said some other time for coffee. You were gonna stand me up. I guess I was, wasn't I? <laughs> I have a boyfriend. Oh. Yeah. Where in New York? How how did we even get there? I don't know. You just look like New York. Or like some New York guy might steal you. Not that there's anything special about New York, though. Some people think there is. Think it's something doesn't make it true. New York's just too... Fast. Cold. Mm. North Carolina. What about it? That's where I'm heading. 
North Carolina? Raleigh. <laughs> Nobody goes to North Carolina. <laughs> yes, they do. Who? I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna. Has anyone done more than just pass through it? I do. Sorry. It's nice. I'm taking a stand. Against North Carolina? Raleigh, specifically. Why? <laughs> they steal all our good things, apparently. It's debatable whether they deserve it. We should do something. Last ride. Yeah. Yeah, we should. that place at all. I don't think we were put on this earth to get it. Any of those places. It's a bunch of people spinning their wheels, devoting themselves to things that don't exist anymore. What? It's history. No, I get that. I Just change the channel. Nothing to think about. Just move on. Don't look back. You know, I really don't like your disposition right now. I always leave those places feeling depressed. It was your idea. No, I'm a masochist. Look, I guess it's all in how you look at it. I saw a celebration. I mean, those people did something. They were a part of something and they left something behind. I mean, they're long gone, but we got to see it. For 30 bucks a pop. <laughs> it was your idea. I'm a curmudgeon, I know. How else are we supposed to know that they happened? I guess you got a point. A point. That was like a ten-point argument. Two and a half. Two and a half? Man, that joint was hot, son. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> what? I don't like your disposition. This is a fly disposition. You're out of touch with reality. Look, I'm in touch. You have one unheard message. Hey, I was hoping I'd catch you. I guess you running around. I'm sure you have some last-minute things to attend to. Not sure why I'm calling, really. I think I just wanted to hear your voice. I'm a bit nervous. Not in a bad way, but like a kid when Christmas is in the morning. I don't know. Time is too slow. It's tea. Iced. What's going on in there? It's a good place. Raleigh? It's quiet. I mean, it has pockets that if you, if you care to, fool yourself into thinking it's a big city. 
You work for the tourist board? Good place to raise kids. You have a kid? No, just natural progression though. I suppose. This is my home. Mine too. I don't know what to think. Open up, Chancho, it's the police. A heart attack. Hey, what's the problem, man? This place is legit, right? Man, I am a brother running a business in the South. I gotta sleep with one eye open. Oh, in that case, I should call your parole officer. Man, have this place to myself, no parole man. Officer, man. Come on, man. You got me out here in the rain. Oh, that's cool, man. My bad. How you doing, brother? I'm good. Good. It's looking good, Chanch. Thanks, man. When you gonna come by? I was here at the opening. Those two years ago, man. This is your thing. You're the only black man I know crazy enough to open a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, you'd be surprised how hard it is for a brother to get money to open a Mexican spot. No, no, I wouldn't. It's not like I'll cook the damn food. I actually hire Mexicans for that. Mm -hmm. So, how's it coming? Good, man. Real good. I was going to wait to tell you when I had more stuff lined up, but I'm thinking about expanding. Been looking at other places. That good, huh? Yeah, man. It's time, and I want you to be a part of it. You know, I couldn't have this place if it wasn't for you. You had a good plan. No, thank you. You truly know the meaning of silent partner. For that, I'm grateful. Yeah, well, I trust you. And the money's good. <laughs> Always eases the pain. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Had some free time, wanted to stop by and see a friend. Today, no? Tomorrow. Man, this is the part where you're supposed to look happy. So, what are you doing here? I just said why I'm here. I should feel good, right? I should think so, yeah. So what do you think? What are you asking me for? Because you married. But you're not. She's coming down, so we're going that way, right? I should think so. Yeah. So how do you do it? Do what, man? Keep everything good. I mean, she's been distant lately. If I'm being honest, I could have done more about it. What does that say about me? Drink. You've been married how long? Nine years. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I know nothing. But you two are good, right? Yeah, I got it good. So how do you do it? I don't know. You just have to find your own rhythm. You know, the two of you, just for you. Then play jazz. You know, you got to be friends. And then you know, every once in a while, have sex with her in the backseat of your car so you don't feel, you know, like roommates. Don't think too much, don't judge, just try to make everything work, you know? You know, it's harder than you think. Just treat your woman like you treat yourself and everything will be all right. You're my friend. You drop a jewel, it's supposed to be laced with humor. Man, it's only in the movies. You ever had one before? No. You? Nope. First time for everything. All right. So wait, 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 like, like a runway model? No, I mean, yeah, but I do more of the high-end fashion stuff, you know? Some commercials. That's nice. So you dress up in like the Nightmare Before Christmas costumes with the hair all around. I mean, I have, but mostly the regular stuff. Even the regular stuff is a bit ridiculous. 
I mean, it's good for photos, but you can't wear that stuff out in real life. It's like playing dress up, but I love it. I believe this whole story. I can see it. Yeah? Your eyes light up when you talk about it. Really? Yeah. Can't imagine there'd be much of that in Raleigh, I, I don't think. No, um, there isn't. Good. So that's it? Give or take. <laughs> well, everybody's more than what they do, right? Are they? Well, now you make me second guess myself. Confidence is a must, young grasshopper. <laughs> now you're just jipping away at me for fun. So you look like a lot of things, but a contract analyst is just not one of them. I hope you got something else going for you. How do you know it's not my life's love? It isn't. I can tell. How can you tell? <laughs> you see this whole Jedi mind trick deflecting questions? That is not working for you, okay? I can see you coming from a mile away. Oh, what? You got me figured? Now you're pushing it. I'm a contract analyst because it pays. Well, actually. Puts butter on my bread. Something my previous thing didn't seem to do. Which was? Played in a band. A few bands, actually. Guitar. That was another life. Thought it'd be sexier, didn't you? I don't know what I was expecting. Aren't we a pair? One ran, the other running. Stalling. Right. What'd you think? It was nice, it was good. Do, do I smell like smoke? I don't know. Smoke, come here. You smell like chocolate. and it's one of those things yeah. that people do what they need to do. Whoa, whoa. Go see that guy on the phone? Yeah. My supervisor. Ha! Huh. That's your supervisor? No, it's his personal ass kiss. You don't look like an ass kiss. Wait, I I thought you were done for the day. Yeah, about that. Uh... <laughs> well, you better do something because I'm setting straight for you. This isn't funny. <laughs> I could cross the street. I see that. Turn a corner. That's where he's headed. <laughs> better hurry because you got about four seconds and don't don't this is not a movie okay don't you try to act like you're gonna kiss me just to hide your face you got three two I think we're I think we're good excuse me Come inside, take a look around. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes. Come on then. How have you been? I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. A lot of local artists have their studios here. We teach classes, adults, kids, whomever. Exhibits are down there. Just one big, happy, artsy place. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is really nice. I like it. You want to know a secret? Mm. Why not? Lay it on me. Uh, <clears throat> you were my first kiss. That's not true. <laughs> it is. 
Something tells me I shouldn't ask you. Either. Yeah, no? don't. Okay. <laughs> right. You look good. So do you. A lady right here in Raleigh did these. How come I didn't know about this place? Because you have no culture. I have plenty of culture. Says you. <laughs> you wanted to be an actor. Writer. Writer. Well, did you ever? No. But it was a child's dream. As I got older, I realized I really just wanted to share. Or give is a better word. And how's that working out for you? Nice. Really nice. I like this one the best. Oh, you have to tell me about it someday. This one? No. You. Giving. You first. Business. I consult. It's a consulting business. <laughs> Doing well. Um, I'm a partner in another. Seems like we might be expanding soon. Who knows? Funny where life takes you. <laughs> you had these huge glasses. Oh. I know. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> you took them off when you kissed me. I did. I don't know why I remember that. so terrific and we'd been together all evening and I, I just don't know what happened to me. Just as much my fault as it was yours. You're, you're the nicest girl I've ever met and oh, we have so much fun together that I'd sure hate to ruin everything. So would I. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Yes, it is. Nothing. Why do you ask? I can just tell. It's getting dark. Yeah, it is. You know, I want a burger. I want a juicy burger with fries and a milkshake, like a vanilla milkshake. Full figure model. This is so good. Yeah? You like that? I have no idea. I can tell. Shut up. <laughs> hey, if I ask you a question, would you be honest? I'll try. Why'd you stop? What? Why'd you stop playing? <laughs> Wasn't that good? I mean, I was good, but it's cool. And cool means good, but not good enough. It doesn't mean I don't love it, though. Don't worry, I don't need anybody to motivate me or push me or fix me. I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh, I wasn't offering to fix you or anything. <laughs> Such a kind soul. Are you okay now? What, here with the burger and you? Yeah, I like you. Right. No, no, like the bigger now, you know, like you're 
here now. Yeah. Look, there's nothing sorrier than a man floating. You may have a point. <laughs> now, I get up in the morning, I friggin' shave, put on a friggin' suit, wear a friggin' tie, drink friggin' coffee, go to friggin' board meetings. <laughs> Is that what you do? You you laugh at other people's pain? No, I'm sorry. That's one way to treat a person. No, no, you just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you just friggin' tired and this thing. What? You're terrible. <laughs> You're a horrible person. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. You're tired. It is a friggin' tired. All right. Friggin' tired. What? What do you want me to say? Yeah, I'm happy in the that now. Would have been nice. That's what I to <laughs> what do you want? I'm here for my niece and that special mac and cheese. Your niece, you can have, but you're gonna have to box me for the mac and cheese. Yeah, whatever. <gasps> this is for you. Yeah, exactly. For you. Thank you. And she's for me. Uncle Danny. What's going on, little baby? Oh, 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 oh. You're getting so heavy. He is heavy. How are you doing? Okay. You good? Mommy taking care of you? Yeah. I hope so. Yes. Otherwise, you know my phone number. You call me. Hey, hey. You excited? Yeah. So what's the problem? There's no problem. It's me you're talking to. I know who I'm talking to. So just talk then. I come for the food. You're the best cook I know. That may be true. It is. I'm, uh, I'm trying to convince myself that I'm thinking too much. You probably are. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, uh, like I'm too small for her, like, I only know a part of her. That part that uh, pretends to be satisfied, pretends to laugh. This guy's a pretty straightforward girl. Mm -mm. Only on the outside. On the inside, she's all jumbled up. You're just nervous. It's a big move for you. You think? Yeah, jitters. Maybe you're right. You think that means something? It means you want to get it right. It means you care. What do you think? I think that you should do what you feel. What do you think? It's not for me to decide. Dora, I'll listen to you. This is for you. Danny. Mm. I try to tell myself that I'm sure. It used to work. And I'm bizarrely hungry right now. Do you have anything in this household to eat at all? Since you didn't bring anything out? No, I will not be cooking for you, no. Because it's self-service now in this house. <laughs> you were raised better than that. You know it. Mac and cheese, please. You got a lot of nerve. <laughs> a lot of nerve. So your parents hippies, or...? Yeah, they are actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. Look, my mom, they have big hair. They, they never wear shoes. They read books from people no one has ever heard of. Oh, they have medicinal marijuana licenses. And they love just about everybody. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it is. I knew it. <laughs> That's a 
common name. If you're stoned. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you know my whole life, and I know absolutely nothing about yours. Your whole life, hardly. Let me give or take. <laughs> I'm easy. What do you want to know? Anything. Anything. Friend? No. Had one, now I don't. What happened? Now we just outgrew each other. Did she break your little heart? It'd be nice if she just broke it. She ripped it out like the predator. Smashed it into a million pieces with a ball peen a hammer and ate it <laughs> in the middle of a packed arena. But the predator rips out your spine, though. <laughs> You're just being dramatic. I am. It was good, though. It had to happen. You're not a whole person until you're broken, I think. And then you can see the world for what it truly is. Now I can really appreciate a good thing. You know, I hear some people go through their whole life, they get old and they are never broken. I mean, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> to never have to deal with the brink. Who wants that? Think about all the things we can talk about now. Wanna jump in? It's too cliche. Yeah. It is. So he called when we were in the cigar place. I missed it. I feel bad. Sorry. I should call. You should. He's a good guy. Just feel bad. I, I bet he is. It's getting late. It is. I don't know who else. And there'll be others, I suppose. Oh, no. That's over with. She's just as beautiful as... Beautiful? And you think that's all that matters? Oh, look. I've felt that way lots of times. The trouble with you is, you don't seem to understand what love is really about. You just haven't been around enough to know what love really is. Believe me. It's nothing like the slush they give you in the movies. relationship when we met and he just waited quietly. He didn't push. Sometimes I wish he did, but he understood. He's attractive that way, you know, he lets you figure it out. He's just admirable that way. It's all in how he carries himself that does it. I just feel like I should feel like I'm in a good place. In a good place, huh? He's good to me, he's safe, I, I, I don't know. It's the right play for me, I, I, I suppose. I suppose. 
I know him. I bet. He's safe? Is that how you make all your decisions in life? No, no. Good for you. I'm sorry, but is, is there a problem? I'm just wondering if he's so great, what are you doing here? Can I start to question that now? What? What's going on here? There's nothing going on. I feel like there is. I'm just listening. Waiting for you to tell me more about how great he is. Wait, wait, that's, that's not what I was, that's. What were you trying to do? Don't do this. I get it. There's nothing to get. Me, here, this, 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 I'm a distraction. Just something to pass the time. Keep your mind occupied. Until you're done with me, of course. Don't That's your do move, this. I bet. Whatever happens in your wake, just happens. It's in the past, who cares? In fact, it didn't happen at all. Yeah, it's starting to coalesce. In my head, I can see it now. The more of it I see, the more I feel sorry for him. Asshole. You're an asshole. I'm sorry, I took too far. Hey, I'm sorry. I took it too far. You're gonna ruin it. You're not a distraction. I don't know what you are. Can I show you something? Look at that thing. It just look like something that could kill you. It does, actually. Full of zombies, that thing. Now I'm one of them. I used to laugh at people that herded into a place like this. Day after day. People wearing suits exactly like the one I'm in right now. I used to be free. Not part of some factory line lifestyle held captive by bi-weekly umbilical. One day you wake up, you realize you piled so much crap on yourself that you can't afford to get out. That's when it's got you. You're just being dramatic. I am. You think you own me? No one owns Jonathan Carter. You hear that? Oh, can I get in on that? By all means. Screw you. You don't own him. Screw. Wow. Are you going to help me out on <laughs> Sorry. What was that? Oh, you think you're better than us? Is that what you think? You're not better than us. There's no way you're better than us. Like John Carter and Sky Dorado ain't gonna take your mess, man. Oh, you hear that? Oh, I know you heard that. You don't own us. We own you. <laughs>
So the whole thing happens in an apartment. I mean, it's a stage, but it's a stage of an apartment. Just two guys. Nobody else. No, just the two of them. But one guy tries to keep the other guy from leaving because he thinks he's just going to go off and like kill himself. So the one guy spends the whole play trying to stop the other guy from killing himself. And he ends up killing himself anyway. Well, in the end, he leaves the apartment, but intending to do something doesn't mean you're actually going to do it, right? I don't know. What do you know? I know your eyes are going to be the death of me. <laughs> They're going to be the last thing I see in my life. You don't mean that. I think I do. You should sit closer. The music I... Do you, um, do you always wear a suit? Most days, but there's always casual Friday. Um, then what? Something casual. Casual's good. Guardian? No, um, just last night. <laughs> well, I hope it's a celebration. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah. Jitters? No. Morning's almost here. When you get in, we'll go to Sullivan's. You love that place. I know, we just... Maybe we shouldn't go. Yeah, we haven't been in a long time. I know it's just not the same. Maybe um maybe we shouldn't go. How long have you felt this way? Sometime. Why didn't you say anything? I thought it would pass. But it hasn't. No. We'll try again, maybe. It'll be different. Better. You... We'll like it again. I'm going to bed. A bit tired. I want the morning to hurry. He's a good man. You don't have to tell me that. He makes sense. We have history. We don't have to talk about it. You know, I can feel the man, who he wants to be for me. And I love that. It's just. that it's enough, you know? I really want to. Can I take 
take you somewhere. I'm speechless. Oh, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> what is this? I'm a working stiff now. Right. No, really, I am. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Kia, Sky, Sky, Kia. That was awesome. Ah, no, come here. I'm a hugger. Oh, I'm a hugger. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Not bad. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, you guys been hanging out all day, or? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> and is this a normal occurrence? No, Miss No Filter, it isn't. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, so did he tell you he can play? Yeah, something like that. Just don't ask him to sing. Hey, <laughs> come on. Never ask okay, him to sing. Okay, fine, don't exactly. ask him. <laughs> so what's your story? Um, the story? Yeah, your story. Like, I'm a DC singer. I'm fabulous, <laughs> blah, 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 your story. Oh, I, you know, I, I don't have a story. Everybody's got a story. Um, maybe I'm just not ready to accept mine. But those are the best kind of stories. Give her a break. Oh, come on, she can take it. You don't know that. 
I can tell she's strong. So, play something? Yes? Uh, yes? Let's play something. Uh, I don't know. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Here, take it. Let's oof. play. Come on. I don't, okay. <laughs> It's a good one, yeah. Amidst the hustle and bustle of a day, I take a moment to breathe. Sometimes the smoke's so thick it's hard to focus initially to see. Instead of feeling out of control, slow down, take inventory. Treat life like books one page at a time until you finish the story. Patiently waiting to be all I can be. Watching as everyone steps into their roles except me. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Guys, you're awesome. <laughs> you're good. Is any, I guess. You've obviously never been to Cleveland. <laughs> no. No, I haven't. It's almost over. Don't talk about it. If you could do anything to said, how you feeling? I'm good. I'm good.
You know, I don't, I don't think I have anything to drink. That's okay. Wait, my roommate moved out a couple weeks ago. She wouldn't admit this, but she is a full-fledged alky. I mean, she used to tell me that she would drink wine when she doesn't want to get drunk. <laughs> God, I love her. Anyways, she refused to cook, so I knew she wouldn't find this, but you, you just can't judge. Just don't judge. <laughs> Your roommate, right? I don't even know what time it is. No. I don't want to know. You have a good life. Yeah? Keep your hands off of it. Don't nobody want your life. I see you eyeballing it. Maybe. What are you thinking about? Nothing. You. <clears throat> what, are you what are you thinking about? You feel good? You know I told you I'm okay with not playing anymore. Yeah. I'm mostly okay with it. I can hear it in my head clearly. When I play, when it happens, somehow it, it loses shape and definition. It's always been that way for me with everything. People, everything. I know we can't see each other again. Because I can see us clearly in my head. I don't know if I talk right now. Husband and wife trouble, huh? How'd you know that? When a man's so tight-lipped, it's usually about a woman. I've seen your ring. Cheetah wouldn't be out here. Cheetah's rarely famous. Hello? Hey! Damn. They just do. <laughs> Sorry to call late. No, it's okay. I'm a night owl, so... Is it a bad time? Uh, not at all. Just watching a movie. <laughs> well, how is it? It's um, what you gonna do about picturesque. Picturesque. I have never heard anybody describe a movie like that. <laughs> well, now you have. I have. And it's philosophical. So. And now it's on pause. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I am. I've had a drink or two. Hmm. And you chose to call me, huh? Today, when we met, I just... I got a buzz. For me and you, I still feel a bit warm. Hmm. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, it felt good. There's nothing special about me. I like my job. I just like football and my friends. And I go to church on Sundays, most Sundays. And I know it's not in style, but that's just what I do. And the rest of the world can have the rest of the world. I'm just... I'm growing less and less ashamed. You shouldn't be. Well, apologetic. Well, you shouldn't have to apologize for who you are. Then why do I feel like I should? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> You don't have to apologize to me. I remember you. I remember you too.
I was just thinking. About? I wish I was a superhero. Such a weirdo. So I could stop time. This is it, huh? It's a new chapter, a rebirth. 
My dad used to say, know what you want and don't get in your own way. Sure. I want to go out with you. I've wanted to go out with you since I was 12 years old. <laughs> ah, well now. This is a good place to answer. And I respond. don't know, you know, I usually don't date guys that tuck their shirts. Yeah, well, you don't know what you've been missing. I'm homeless. I'm a vagabond. You're being dramatic. I am. I thought you'd be halfway there. 
sorry to disappoint you. You did. Where are you going? Frickin' coffee. Want some company? Now I could really use the fresh air. Yeah. But you can't ask me for my number. Thank you. 